Hey, this is Bo from Open Source Skateboards, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use SkateCAD RR, which is the flavor of SkateCAD that is for designing skateboard molds for use with the Roar Rocket method of building boards. This video is going to be really brief. I'll also have a longer video that goes more in depth, but this is just going to be a very quick overview of everything in the tool. So first off, we have our workspace, and the way I can control this workspace is with my mouse, the left mouse button, when I click and hold and move the mouse around, rotates the 3D model. As you can see, the 3D model right now is a skateboard mold. If I hold down shift and do that same thing, it moves my mold. It does something called panning. So it's moving my mold around. And if I use my scroll wheel, it zooms in and out. If you're using a touchscreen device, using your finger and holding your finger down on the screen and moving your and dragging your finger along the screen will rotate. If you hold your finger down without moving it and then move it, that will pan the 3D model. And then if you pinch, you can zoom in and out. On the left side of our screen here is our parameters box. And underneath the parameters box is the purchase button in case you want to get the mold. An easy button, which links to several pre-made templates. So this is the easy button version of SkateCAD RR. And you can see that there are some pre-made templates here. And then there is this help button. And this help button for the pre-made templates is going to show you what the parameters are for all these pre-made designs. In order to see what these designs actually look like, you can change the display to show the board and click on update. You can also click this instant update button and that will make it so you don't have to click this update button. Every time you change one of these parameters, the model will update. So here's our street deck. Then you can also see here's a longboard dancer. And then you can also see the mold that would be what you got if you ordered a mold for one of these pre-made templates. You'll notice there are some little notches here. These notches help with registering the board on your template so that you know where the center of the board is. There's also these little lines here. These don't affect how your mold will come out if you're ordering a mold. They affect how detailed the model resolution is. So if you lower this number, it's, it makes it a finer level of visualization. So there's, it's going to be a lot smoother. The only reason you may use this is if you want to download the 3D model so that you can machine or produce the mold digitally yourself, which you can do from this generate STL button. But let me go back to the SkateCAD RR, the not easy one. And the way I recommend you design your mold is actually starting with the board. And you, of course you don't have to do this, but it does help to see the board you're gonna try and make on your mold and then just get the mold that's gonna produce that board. I'm gonna click on the instant update button so I don't have to click update every time. And for popsicle boards, boards that look like a popsicle stick, 
you're going to use all of these parameters. You don't have to worry about the wheel cutouts. This is more for boards that are going to look like a long board dancer. I clicked the show board outline only button to just show the top view of the skateboard. This way when I update some of my parameters, it will respond a lot faster and show it a lot faster. If I didn't have that checked, it would just take a little while to render the new shape every time. For all these parameters, you can see what they are by clicking the help button. So this is a nice little key to reference as you are playing around with the different dimensions you can have. And I also mentioned there are these cutouts. These would be used if you're making, again, a board like more like a dancer. And you just will need to make some adjustments on your parameters to go between the popsicle shape and the dancer shape so it looks a little bit more normal. And you'll use all of these parameters to define the shape of your skateboard. And you can uncheck the outline, of course, to see what the kick angles look like, what the concave looks like. You can make single kick boards. You can make flat boards without any concave. Once you have your shape, you can purchase your board and the mold specs are going to be here and I just said purchase your board I meant purchase your mold you actually can purchase your board too um, with another version of SkateCAD just regular SkateCAD if you go to opensourceboards.com and click on build and design this is where you can go if you'd like to design your own board and make your own and have your own board made. But since we're just talking about molds, all your mold specs show up right here. And make sure you've clicked update and that your mold specs are all in there. If you didn't click update, this won't update. And don't change these because it will automatically update every time you change a parameter. So you can see as I'm making the board wider, it's getting wider here. And these are this is where the specs get passed for ordering the board. You can also order a paper template of your 2D profile. And lastly, if you, similar to the easy tool that I showed you, the easy button tool, the, there's a generate STL button in the top right if you want to download a 3D model. And there is a, an, an SVG button next to the update button if you'd like to download an SVG of the template so you can print that out or laser cut that or do whatever you'd like with the SVG. The help button here, as I mentioned, shows you all the parameters. It's helpful also to just change one parameter at a time with the instant update on so you can really get a feel for what controls what. And if you are on an 
iPad or a device where the parameters box is kind of getting in the way, there's a little minimize and maximize button there. So you can hide that or you can click and drag it or just resize it. That's it for this quick overview. I hope this was helpful in getting you started with SkateCAD RR. If you'd like more information on the details, I'll link to the longer video in the description of this video. And thank you for watching and happy board building.